So Paul, one of the um, questions that we get asked certainly uh, a lot by clients when it comes to purpose-built student accommodation is a little bit of uncertainty about who their actual tenant is. They realise obviously it's student accommodation, um, but is it the actual end user, so the student that's paying the rent? Is it the parents? Is it the university in some sort of bursary, I guess, or conference? No, um, university aren't involved as far as I know, but um, yeah, so generally it's either to my knowledge, the student, yeah. if they don't have a guarantor, then they're asked to pay for six, 12 months in advance. Okay, so you have some coverage. Uh, so you have a look yeah. Um, and then obviously, if they pay for six months and do that, then they've got a way to miss, as we know, for this place has got a way to miss to cover that. Yeah, it's one of the things we covered in, in a previous video with the, the management company, which I was aware of specifically, not only with this site, but other, kind of other sites typically, is that there's just regular demand. People are asking for kind of rooms on an ongoing basis. Got nowhere else to go. Yeah, I guess. So if the tenant does move out within a short space of time, they don't like it at university, they, they move on somewhere else. Um, there is still demand throughout the year of people wanting to come yeah, take the to, to come in. Um, and funnily enough, I noticed there's new schemes like this, and this is obviously a company that was set up reading this, and it's need a UK rent guarantor. So as a okay. company, they will then back you pay some sort of Nominal fee, okay, like the insurance so, premium, like the insurance premium, they're good to guarantee. Oh, yeah. So again, as an investor, even though generally rents are guaranteed yeah. for these, because that's part of the deal, and it's irrelevant whether it's occupied, you want it occupied. Yeah, sure. you, know, you need still need to know, and everything seems to be covered for that. Okay. Well, so yeah, from a I guess from a landlord's point of view, students are paying that kind of the bills. They've got the guarantor, the other as you said options there from the insurance perspective, yeah. and but certainly it feels a bit more secure than. A other mainstream kind of well, rental. It might yeah. be where you, in theory, you should rent quite well, but you're standing in the dark if it's a two bedroom terrace and yeah. you've not had a history of that property. You'd speak to letting agents and you look at the comparisons, but I guess with the student, you know that that's. <sighs> Any sort of protected from moonlight like flits, aren't you? Yeah. And, you know, all that sort of thing. Um, and especially if they're paying six months, which I think is the most popular. Yeah. You know, the fact is they get it and six months is done. And again, it, it's, it's great security for the investor knowing that it's there yeah. and it's done in consistency. Yeah. Consistency.